It's hard to keep body and soul together. If we can launch the Adopt a Family program, and we can get a thousand families willing to adopt other families in this country, then we will help get to 2011 in a different way. And we need the government to do that. And we will announce, working with the churches, working with the community groups, a program that will appeal to the conscience of Beijing. A program that will allow you to say, there but for the grace of God, goes I. And if you don't do it, those of you who like to listen to reggae, will know of many songs, suffering heights. Many songs that speak to the pain of what people do when they can't make ends meet. And we don't want that for this country. We don't want that for this parish. We don't want that for any parish in Barbados. But I say to you as well that I can well imagine a conversation with the Prime Minister when he's canvassing in St. John. And he bounces up that woman who is working for that $200 a week at the Four Roads gas station. And she says to him, Prime Minister, do you really still care? Do you want me to taste my tears and admit defeat? Do you want me to simply listen to you as you repeat your lyrics again because politicians don't practice what they preach? Do you want me, Prime Minister, to just vote for the sake of the fact that there's an election? And when the election is done, I cannot pay my bills, Prime Minister. Anybody have a child in a call for campaign? What does he say? Oh, God, so, eat, and people oh, God, to me. And if you go for a door, for a firm working place, if you can't raise the minimum wage, if you can't have a picture of one another, a doctor, another family to help out, if you got a little more than three, share it. If you got a little more than three, share it. And that is the kind of approach that will have to take us to 2011. The Prime Minister says he's not calling any election in a hurry. That is his province. That is his right. But in the meantime, we can't depend on this government to stop me from suffering until we start to take the right decision. So I think we need to make comments that I am deeply concerned. But I want also us to recognize that we live in a country where the government is not everything to everybody. And we have to take responsibility for our actions as well. And we have not come on this platform just simply to offer abuse. But I know that in Bishon and Jackson and Van Shore, in College Savannah and Baldwin, and Coachell, and like Keith and John, people are not listening to public meetings, but people are wondering how they can get the bills paid next week. That's the reality! Yeah. And we must never become so consumed with ourselves that we fail to address what concerns the majority of people in this country. Now when you fall down, you have a choice in life. You can get up and do the right thing, or you can spend your time trying to spite people. I have never, I have never and I never choose the road of malice and spite, because that is time and energy taken away from what you have to do to move forward and to help people in life. And I say so in all sincerity, recognizing as I said that what this country faces is bigger than any one individual. It's bigger than me, it's bigger than anyone in the other party, anyone in the Democratic Labour Party. Because we find ourselves on a peculiar state in the country's affairs. And that state requires us to ask ourselves some serious questions. Our political culture has developed an expectation 
of jokes and bad mouthing and attacks and propaganda. Well, when it comes to the jokes, I am not trying to eat me. I will not try to be one. I am not as bad more. And I will not try to be one. But if you want cheap entertainment, we will go to the gymnasium or Sherman and have a hole in the show. And I think goes to the attack. I know what it is to be a woman in politics for over 20 years and to be the subject of the most vitriolic, baseless attacks and rumors. And I will not participate in your attacks on anyone, anywhere, any part of my political future. The time has come for a new politics and a new form of politics in this country. You cannot educate people and not treat them as if they are not educated. You cannot give people the benefit of an education and then want to treat to them like if they are just an audience in a gymnasium coming to laugh. And I say this with all sincerity, cognizant that this is not something that is peculiar to the Dems or the Labour Party or any party, but it is an aspect of our political culture that requires us to move forward. Because when we finish with the jokes, and when we finish with the attack, there is no more right to hear to the there is no more money in your pocket. The government of the Central Bank has said that you can expect some recovery in a year's time. But between now and then, you have got to buy food every week. You get biscuits, you can't get by with raw pack for the week. Then you've got two children, you need at least two. That is a dog, you say three. That is a dog for the lower pack. A sign is yours. It's three months of time, or else you will go to two a week. A whole chicken is now seventeen dollars minimum. I mean, it's now seventeen to the market's twenty and twenty-three. And that is up from thirteen and fifteen dollars when you went down the market. But one chicken can only sell. You have to use it as soon as anybody remember the clips of a kitchen. Yeah. The train and smart, but they do. When you buy the rice and the meat, and the train put them in the dorm, and you give them the rice, and as it goes, as the food comes closer to being cut, the burden tells you not to eat. As a bomb, the burden, I don't like the fact. But when it comes to the occasion, I just turn up for my rice. Yeah. If I do a train set, meat bone. If I do a train set, meat bone. Take your meat off my rice. But the most you can do with that chicken is to leave it to serve us. Make some stock. Use some bones to make the stock. Spend it up to us three days because we can't afford to buy more than one. And if you do that, the other day we do corn beef and not corn. Corn beef is three, four, and five or ten. That one thing can only last you one day. Not till it's three something a ten. Four, two forty nine. No more. Five seventy five. You get my dress. I don't get the two spare plate. And if she's a young lady, she needs other things when the next time we don't get to them yet. We don't get to sell powder yet. Which is five forty nine. How in God's name can that woman live with those two children? And I want each of us to leave here tonight. Yes, we can study the high politics, but at the end of the day, and if our election causes us to bring it down back to basics, how are people living in this country? And that woman has trouble fighting in the past for our children. So she can't afford the money for medicine, and that is not going to get service for me. Do you understand where I'm coming from tonight? Yeah. I, I say to you that the government simply cannot talk about it 
کہ وہ چیز ہم سے ادر کے بہت سوچ ہے ایک بچے کو اس دو انیس کنٹری لاسٹ نومبر انرجی پروڈکٹ پاپر